That's 1-800-722. Channel 2, KPRC-TV. This is The Scene at 5 with Ron Stone, Doug Johnson, and the Channel 2 News Team. Hello, buddy. I'm Ron Stone. And I'm Doug Johnson, and this is The Scene at Five. Fifteen years ago, the first job we ever had as a team was on this program called The Scene at Five. We did it rather well, I think, for about ten years, and then we were given other assignments. <laughs> but this half hour of the day always remained our love. Uh, and since the announcement that The Scene at Five has been coming back, more than one person has reminded us of that historic literary adage that says you can't go home again. But we choose to remember a greater truth, and that is that home is where the heart is. And now... Holt, Bob Mueller, Storm Team Meteorologist Davis Nolan, and Steve Phillips with sports. This is News 2 at 5.
broadcasting live for Dallas and Fort Worth. This is Fox 4 News at 9. You are watching Fox 4 News with Steve Eager, Ashley Banfield, Tim Heller, and Mike Ducey. Churches push to stop a disease that is still growing in their communities. And come tomorrow, the food lines are guaranteed to get longer because of government cutbacks. Those stories, all the news on this Sunday afternoon, November 30th, 1997. Live from the award-winning Channel 2 Newsroom, the 5 o'clock news. Good evening, I'm Leslie Griffith. San Francisco fire officials say an arsonist. What good are the right toys without the right batteries? Tonight on segment two, the great American battery test. Those stories and all the news on this Friday night, November 28, 1997. And now, the award-winning 10 o'clock news on Channel 2, the number one primetime newscast in the country. Good evening, I'm Elaine Corral. And I'm Dennis Richmond. But if you're like so many other Americans, this was the day to get into the holiday spirit by going... There is much more news ahead tonight coming up. Which battery will keep that toy dinosaur going and going? Consumer... Straight ahead tonight on the 10 o'clock news, we'll tell you what happened when armored car guard and murder suspect Thomas Wheelock appeared in court for the first time. Fox 5's 10 o'clock news. On your side, this is NBC 12 News. Tonight's top five at five. Local news, national links, live Virginia Doppler, 12 about town, NBC12.com, one source on air, online, on now. 8 News. A longtime mall anchor closes, leaving this Chesterfield shopping center emptier than ever. The number of African Americans committing suicide is drastically on the rise. So how do you solve this problem? We'll take a look tonight at 6. Do you get your medical advice on the internet? Beware, you may not be getting the best information. More local news from your community. You're watching 8 News. Uh, watching John Beard, Christine Devine, Mark Thompson Weather, Lisa Joyner with Entertainment, and Rick Garcia Sports. Fox 11 News at 10. Huntington Beach. You're watching Newswatch 35 at 6 with Lisa Zampa. Tony Victor, Joey Stevens, and Gary Drapshow with sports. Repping last night in Dormont. That's where Harold Hayes is right now. He joins us with that story. Harold? Ken, here's the bottom line of the story. This is the house that burned last night. Channel 10, Philadelphia. Good evening, everybody, and this is the way it is this Friday night. Edgar Rosenberg, the husband of comedian Joan Rivers. Reno with a sports page report next on the Channel 10 News. The Channel 10 News, next. Channel 10, 
Philadelphia. Good evening, everyone, and this is the way it is right now. Edgar Rosenberg, the husband of comedian Joan Rivers, is KYW-TV in Philadelphia. Channel 3, your Constitution station. Live from Independence Mall and throughout the Delaware Valley, this is Channel 3 Eyewitness News Nightcast. Good evening, I'm Steve Bell. And I'm Jackie Hayes for Diane Allen. Some painfully tense moments tonight in Philadelphia's Northern Liberty section. There's more to come tonight on Nightcast. A major pop group's plan to put on a free concert for Philadelphia is canceled. We'll tell you why. And in sports, the Phillies try to make it six in a row against the Cardinals. Lou Tilly has highlights. And it's a mystical weekend for hundreds of thousands of people around the world. Nightcast will continue. From Channel 10. This is Eyewitness News at 6. South Florida's number one 6 o'clock news with Ann Bishop, Dwight Lauderdale, Art Carlson's Health Beat, meteorologist Don No, Cambrell Marshall Sports, and the Channel 10 Eyewitness News team. Good evening, Ann Bishop has the night off. Diane Magnum is joining us. A shocking scene today at a Merrill Lynch brokerage office at the Falls. WSVN Channel 7, Miami, Fort Lauderdale. Sally Fritz, Peter Ford, meteorologist Bob Soper, and Brett Lewis with sports. This is the 6 o'clock hour of News Center 7. Good evening. The stock market collapse took a tragic toll today. A despondent investor opened fire at a South Day brokerage firm, killing one... Coming up, News Center 7 looks into the safety of a Broward roadway where two young bicyclists were struck and killed over the weekend. And mothers donned black hoods to testify before a congressional hearing about the crisis of AIDS babies in Miami and across the nation. News Center 7 will be right back. That is the 6 o'clock hour of News Center 7, NBC Nightly News with Tom Brokaw is next. And we'll be back tonight at 11. I'm Sally Fitz. I'm Peter Ford. For Bob, Brett, and all of us on the News Center 7 team, thanks for joining us. Good night. Good night. News, South Florida's first early evening newscast, with Ann Bishop, John Scott, meteorologist Don No, Cambrell Marshall Sports, and the Channel 10 Eyewitness News team. Good evening, Ann Bishop has the night off. Diane Magnum is joining us for Channel 10's first news at 5. You're watching Channel 4, WTVJ, Miami, Fort Lauderdale. Now, John Hambrick, Susan Lickman, Weaver the Weatherman, and Tony Segreto with sports. This is News 4. Good evening. It has been another dark day on Wall Street where the stock market suffered it is second biggest loss in history. Good night. is News Center 2 at 6. With Steve Rondinero and Andrea Coudrier. Chief Meteorologist Dave Marsh. 
And sports with Mark Middleton. A father's pain triggers a melee in an Orange County courtroom. Good evening, I'm Steve Rondonero. I'm Robin Chapman. Six million dollars in federal help is all but a certainty to find. Channel 3's Dale Solly is live at the Port of Cleveland with the story on how we got the money and more importantly, when's it going to get here? Leon, Doreen, the water is... We'll tell you what customers think are the best airlines and the worst airlines when we come back. Live from the heart of the North Coast, you're watching Channel 3 News with Leon, Doreen, Joe and Whalen. Tonight at 11.30. Now, Dave Buckle. Sandy Lesko. Vince Cellini on sports and Mark Kuntz with weather. This is News Center 8. Good evening and thank you for joining us. Here's what's happening. Do you suffer from constant back aches, headaches, or arthritis? Medical reporter Diana Davis meets some people and doctors who are fighting an agonizing battle to find a prescription for pain. A special assignment next on Channel 2's Action News. From WSB-TV Atlanta, Georgia's news leader, Monica Kaufman, Terry Wood, Russ Minshew with weather, and Chuck Dowdle on sports. This is Channel 2's Action News. Prom night at an Atlanta hotel turns into a nightmare for a teenage couple. Georgia's top lawmen begin an investigation into charges of ticket fixing inside the state patrol. And, the and now, from TV5 in Atlanta, Eyewitness News at Noon, with Paul Shields, Jackie Maddox, and Carrie Coleman with weather. Good afternoon. Another staff resignation, the result of the Jan Kemp controversy. Good afternoon, I'm Steve Sanders, and this is News Scope for Tuesday, May the 13th. There may be an agreement in the works to end alleged hiring discrimination in suburban... Live from Richmond, Virginia, this is WWBT 12 News. On your side with Gene Cox, Sabrina Squire, Radar Plus meteorologist Jim Duncan, and Ben Hamlin with sports. Good evening, I'm Andrea McDaniel. Sabrina is at home with her baby. WTVR-TV, Richmond, Virginia, Channel 6. From the South's first television station, this is News 6, Central Virginia's number one news team. Now, the 11 p.m. report. You're looking at a live shot of a classic confrontation, spinning tires on ice. <laughs> we just wanted you to see a little of what you'll be facing tomorrow morning. Good evening, I'm Cheryl Miller. I'm Cheryl Fishburne. It's cold outside. Driving conditions very treacherous, especially for back roads and subdivision. Of course, if you ever want to join us tonight for Richmond after 6 and 7 o'clock, stay tuned now for CBS. WTVR News 6, voted News Operation of the Year by the Virginia Association of Broadcasters and the Associated Press. From the eastern shore to the Outer Banks and all of Hampton Roads. Ed Hughes, Jane Gardner, Dr. Dwayne Harding with Doppler Weather, and Bob Rathbun on Sports. This is WTKR-TV's News 3 at 6. Good evening, I'm Jane Gardner. And I'm Ed Hughes. Thanks for joining us tonight. A 14-year-old Norfolk newspaper carrier is to... Have a good night. Hope you can join us at 11. Good night. WCAU TV 10, serving the Delaware Valley. Live. Larry Kane, Al Meltzer, and Herb Clark. 
Now, Channel 10 News. Good evening. One man has now been arrested in the boycott of a Korean-owned steak shop in southwest Philadelphia. WBOC TV 16 Salisbury, Dover. From Delmarva's News Leader, this is the noon edition of the Delmarva Report. Clouds, a chance of a shower or two, and high temperatures in the 80s are in the forecast for the rest of this afternoon. Hello, everyone. I'm Dave Bonar. Looks like some shower activities kept its way rather crept its way back into the forecast for the weekend with some sunshine and a chance of a shower or thunder shower right on into Monday. We'll From WMGM TV, this is New Center 40 at 6. With Jeff Whitaker, Lisa Johnson, Joe Basikia Sports, everyone, a scene of panic overnight at an Atlantic City housing project. Gunfire erupted at the Virginia Avenue courts. Police... WCAU-TV 10, Philadelphia, serving King of Prussia. Live. Larry Kane, Diane Allen, Al Meltzer, and Herb Clark. Now, Channel 10 News update. Good evening. The city of Philadelphia is going to pay a million dollar price for its continuing prison overcrowding problem. WMDT TV Salisbury. This is Newswatch 47, live with Bill Harmon and Sports with John Phillips. Newswatch 47, recognized by the Associated Press as the outstanding news operation on Delmarva. Two alleged murderers are still on the loose in Somerset County. Good evening, everyone. Thank you very much for joining us. One man is dead, another injured, following an argument outside on Saturday. For John Phillips, I'm Bill Foreman. We thank you very much for joining us. We'll see you back here tomorrow night. Take care, everybody. TV Cleveland. And now, broadcasting live from the North Coast, this is Channel 3 News at 6 with Bob, Doreen, Shane, and Jim. Good evening, I'm Bob. You're watching News 4, where news comes first. Live from the News 4 Broadcast Center, Greg Carson, Christina Wofford, and Weather with Dave Finley. This is News 4 at noon giving you the official word from the local, okay? They're still talking. You're watching WZZM 13 News, working for you in Grand Rapids and along the lakeshore. You're watching WGRZ-TV, Channel 2, Buffalo. This is Channel 2 News tonight with Victoria Hogg, Douglas Bell, Kevin O'Connell weather, and Ed Kilgore sports. Channel 2 News tonight continues. Welcome back, everyone. An attempted robbery at an east... From all across the Piedmont, you're watching News 2 at 11 with Sandra Hughes and Frank Raboni. News 2, working for you. Good evening, I'm Frank Raboni. Live in past through our area. Live from Detroit's News WDIV Channel 4, where local news comes to us. You're looking at live pictures of your big story tonight, a stubborn fire still burning out of control near Metro Beach. Good evening. Firefighters have been battling the blaze for the past six hours. The wind is cold is creating problems for firefighters. News 4's Marcella Lee is live in Harrison Township with the latest. That's right, Dan. The wind may be helping the fire, but I tell you, it is very cold out here for firefighters. 
You're watching The Night Beat on Channel 4, where local news comes first. People who receive these in their mail should be... This is the UPN 50, 10 o'clock news. New tonight, this massive brush fire in Harrison Township could be the work of an arsonist. You are watching KMOX TV Channel 4. And now, from St. Louis's number one news team, Betsy Bruce with Channel 4 Saturday Newsroom Report. Good evening and welcome to Newsroom. Tonight, federal aviation investigators report there was no indication of anything. See you then. Here's Vice President and General Manager Alan Cohen with a Channel 4 editorial. There's plenty of gasoline right now, but how long will that last? A year, two, five? Nobody knows because we still depend on foreign countries for much of our oil. Oh. From KPLR TV, Channel 11 the number one independent news team in the country. News Watch. Good evening and welcome to News Watch. I'm Dennis Edwards. This hour's top story, medical examiners are trying to... The following program is paid for by the First Baptist Church of Ferguson. Night. You are watching KMOX TV Channel 4. And now from St. Louis's number one news team, Betsy Bruce with Channel 4 Sunday Newsroom Report. Good evening and welcome to Newsroom. Tonight, Lambert Field officials and Mayor Shamel say. Place. This is KSDK, Channel 5, St. Louis, first in information. And now, complete coverage of today's news, weather, and sports. This is 5 on 5 with Dick Ford and Jennifer Blome. Well, good evening. This is our night on 5 on 5 to focus on entertainment. Our inter WSBT TV is your hometown station. WSBT Eyewitness News. Good evening. Tensions were high today as workers at the Hummer plant finished their first...
from WEHT Local. This is Eyewitness News Daybreak. Live from Local 7 WTVW, this is Eyewitness News Daybreak.